finished Elsa. How stunning does she look? So I got her from DIY Moon. Uh, okay, so I'll try, hopefully, hopefully I got it right. So this is Elsa. I've actually popped her on my desk. I will just lift up for a sec and go through the drills and then I will actually talk about show you the diamond painting a bit closer up. 45 colours. Did I run out of drills? No. All there. Did I have excessive drills? Absolutely. But I would say the excessive drills are purely because I did um, I had the electric drills so which meant that I put the drills down in bed or in of the proper colours. Um, so I'll show you that in a sec. Um, quality, I had very little trash, not even worth mentioning. Um, yeah, no issues at all. She was very easy to work with. Yet again, bang around, I was able to roll it and unroll it. She travelled across the country with me as well, like um, the steampunk did, if you saw that, um, um, that review. Um, so yeah, that's the drills and had no concerns about running out um, because there's no inventory with their product. You can't get there going, oh well it might be close or it might not be close or whatever. That isn't there. Okay. So, I'll move those all to the side. And let's have a better look at her. So, whoop needs to go further to the side. Hang on. Sorry guys. Here we go. Rightio. So DIY Moon Shop. The 60 by 9. No, 60 by 100. <laughs> Her head is massive. Her eyes are stunning. Okay, now let's see if I can get that roll. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to see if I can get the effect I got last time. So bear with me. Hey Google, turn off office light. Okay. So there's a little bit of extra sparkle that you can see on the snowflake there. You can also see that here, more extra sparkle on the snowflake. So I have used a combination of the electric drills. Well, mostly I've used electric drills only to just give an extra glisten to the big snowflake. Up here, okay, have will see if I can This here, I used electric drills on. They have the, the much more dramatic sparkle to them. Okay, so the difference though is this one here wasn't just the electric drills. I also used the silver rhinestones. I got another kit with the DIY Moon. So, I don't know how much you can really, you can see the additional sparkle, but yeah, that snowflake and that, so, hey Google, turn on kitchen light. Got it, turning kitchen light on. No, I'm trying to, okay Google, turn off kitchen light. Okay, turning off kitchen light. Okay, so what you can see now, there's just 
that's actually just glow from my computer this I've got no lights on in the house but you can see that the glisten just nighttime light from the just a glow from the computer so it doesn't take much to really make it sparkle and you now see the one up there Okay, Google, turn on office light. There we go. Okay. So, she is stunning. We do have a couple of other things that I did special with her. Um, sorry, my desk is not set up for this at the moment. What I did do special with her is her eyes. I used some rhinestones from the red the 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 tree that I did cut from DIY moons. I did do some. Um, you can actually see the rhinestones are actually up at the eye and up there. Um, and yeah you can see it here. So just added a little bit more sparkle on the eyes. So I used every single one of the electric drills. Actually, I did put some just to sparkle up here. But I did use every single one of the electric drills. Plus, I did use um, the silver cleary rhinestone ones here. Um, and I used all the electric drills that I had from the... box as well and from the panda so the only electric drills that I've got left now are the ones that are just for the girl by the carousel I haven't touched that one yet but she is stunning I love her she's gorgeous she's gonna make a great gift great gift um, but yeah she was you know back around done really really quickly oh that's what I did want to do now Hang on a sec while I get a clamp. Just gonna because of the weight of this, I don't want it rolling away. Now, one of the things that you can do with um, rounds instead of sealing, because I don't believe rounds need to be sealed, but rounds do need to have something done about the stick. Um, I'm just going to try and get it in the right position. Need to move the camera, so hang on a sec. Okay, yeah, I'm actually am moving the camera itself, so need to get this in a position so that you can see what I'm trying to talk about without it flying off my desk. one more clamp sorry guys but then everything I do is fly by the seat I don't have it planned okay just so you know what I've done is I've just put a bulldog clip on there and another clip on that side uh, just hold it so it doesn't slide away from me in this bottom left corner I have used um, a translucent face powder because of the colour of her. So, where did I put the brush this time? The translucent powder, because of the colour, you can get away with using a translucent face powder. Um, I'm going to be framing this so these edges won't be seen. But that's sticky, and that's sticky, but that's not. And that's because yet again, I've used like I did with the other rhinestone ones that I've been that I've done. I've used translucent face powder. So I'm just gonna move that. There, 
There we go. And because of the colours, I can get away with the translucent. Um, you wouldn't want to use the white because other colours throughout. Hang on. There we go. Other colours throughout. Um, it'll it'll affect if you went the white. You'd see it. What I should have done before I did that was actually use my straightening tool. Just realised that I've just got a couple that I had a whack a bit. I don't know whether you're seeing that, that how much difference this is making. Um, this is on AliExpress and other webs, other diamond painting sites as a straightener, which it actually it, it does straighten things. But in all reality, if you went to your local hardware store and asked for a paint scraper, scraper you would get one of these. It's a 3M paint straightener. Paint scraper. But there we go. I've just, you probably can't tell, but I've just neatened that up severely. So with putting the powder in, um, yes, I've got, I've got a slightly brown tinge here. I'm not too stressed about it. But go that's how you pick up whether you've dropped a drill where's my pen okay what we've got now is on that edge there where I put the translucent powder Actually, able to rub some of that glue off, but it's not, not really sticky there. But yeah, that's just something that I discovered just recently. I I never used to work out with rounds anyway, um, but that's how if you do a translucent colour bead um, you might find test it on a small area on a small corner and you might find that it does what you need it to do to stop any dust or pet hairs or anything forming on that um, so yeah but all in all would I recommend this to anybody absolutely with one limitation if you can afford it because DIY Moon the quality is good their price is they're pretty expensive but I believe it was worth it I had to pay I brought the two diamond pans and because of the size of them I had to pay 40 US freight for each one of these diamond paintings so hang on a second we'll lift you back up Whoop. Um, that. So yeah, I had to pay forty dollars freight for each one of the diamond paintings. But when you can order, um, I suppose these are special orders, so these did take longer than normal. But with DIY Moon, you know that if it's, if they've got it in stock, you'll have it there so quick. It's it's unbelievable how quick they get them to. You. But that's. Uh, 
DHL for, by the sound of it, every other country except for the US. Um, but yeah, hopefully you like this. Um, pop a comment down. Um, the electric drills, I do believe they are what has been shown as sparklers, but I haven't seen the sparklers, so I couldn't really tell. Um, but thank you for watching. And um, I have now completed two diamond paintings in the last 48 hours, which means, what does it mean? Oh, I might have to go shopping. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.